Father, again, we just love you, give you praise, give you glory. We thank you for being so good and so kind. We just ask you to just bless each and every one that's here. Feed your family. We just ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome to the Southern Valley Community Church. We're glad you're here. And we're... Let's all go down the river, okay? Yeah. All right. someone until today you call my name. Amen. All right.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. How many like to run to Jesus? Yes. All right. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are welcome. You are welcome. In this place. In this place.
Praise the Lord. I worship you, Almighty God. just as if they're words yes. written on a page but a response to what you have done for us yes. a deep deep heartfelt response yes. to what you have done for us yes. we worship you yes. you are almighty God yes. and there is none like you no. let us know the words that we're singing let us feel the words that we're singing Rise up within us, Holy Spirit. Minister to each and every one, both here and that are listening out there, Lord. We just ask you to minister to all, and we give all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Wow. Thank you, guys. Give the worship team a big hand. This We have a few announcements we want to make to you. 
And that is at Monday at 1 o'clock, the ladies have a Bible study here at the church. So that's Monday at 1 o'clock. Wednesday, of course, we have our Bible study at 6.30. We invite you to come. We got 50, 60 guys here that with us right now. And another group that is saying that they're going to join us. So they're going to join 70, 80 guys and I'll meet you tonight. So if you want to really get inspired or uh, be something a little different, uh, Wednesday night would be your thing. It would be a great time to have. I don't know if we're having a food. Do we ever do a food? The same way you're doing a food giveaway all the time anymore. We're not doing one this week, are we? No. Okay. Last week. This is, so you're going to break this week. All right. Last week. Last week we did, okay. All right. So uh, on and on it goes. But if you'd like to join us and you're online and you'd like to help support us, we could use your support. It is the Southern Valley Community Church, P.O. Box 788-92356. And we have PayPal. So you can do PayPal too, see? And we'd appreciate whatever you can do. And God bless you richly. All right. Uh, we'll have the guys do the offering at this time. You don't have a guy with you, so maybe Cliff can help you there. Or Tommy. Tommy and Cliff both. There you go. Cliff needs to exercise. teaching himself how to play it. So it's pretty amazing. That's just great. Stand with me as we go to the Lord in prayer. I want to remember Wade up here on the hill. We have a young lady who's also having some heart issues. We want to pray for her. We want to pray for Nerida and her mother back there at Back East too. And all of them. So let's pray. Father, again, we just love you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for being so good and so kind. We're a needy people, Lord. We have a lot of folks that are ill, and we just pray for that group in Barstow, Lord. We pray for Wade up here on the hill. 
And we pray for Loretta and her mother back there. And of course, Ralph's whole family still down below, Lord. We just minister to each and every one. And we thank you for ministering to your people and to their needs. And we just give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. God bless you. Good to have you all with us this morning. You can turn your Bible into Psalms 103. And children, you may escape with Michael Paul. <laughs> Good luck, Michael Paul. <laughs> but I want to talk to you about love this morning. Love beyond boundaries. Okay? And uh, when I think about love beyond boundaries, I think of my beautiful wife back there. Because this is our 40th anniversary. Yeah. And hard to believe she has stuck with me through thick and thin, from black hair to gray hair, <laughs> through eight children. Amen, Amen brother. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still coming at us. So they, we thought they all moved out, but nevertheless. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> through the ups and downs, to the mountaintops, there's been some valleys. But she's always been there, right by my side. Through it all. Yeah. But I want to talk about God's love. It's also without boundaries. In Psalms 103, verse 11. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is the love of those who fear him. So great is his love for those who fear him. The expression here, for as high as the heavens are above, was written in a time where they couldn't conceive of anything be higher than the heavens. Inconceivable. A height that couldn't be reached, a height that couldn't be touched beyond their imagination, beyond their comprehension. So the psalmist here is trying to express a love that is beyond imagine, beyond expressible, higher than the highest mountains, deeper than the deepest sea. The love of God, how rich, how pure, how measureless and strong it shall forevermore endure, the saints and angels' song. The expressions here that are given in this song are not from just out of his head, as poetic as that may seem, and as beautiful as is written, but it is the intent is to go beyond your intellect. To get into your emotions of what you have already experienced of the love of God. To bring up within yourself the reality of what he's really done for you. What has it meant for him to redeem you and to save you? To get your emotions evolved. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, another immeasurable calculation to express the grandeur of what he's done. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions, our transgressions for, from us. Give God a hand. How many of you are glad God's transgressions have been removed? Oh, amen. And He hasn't just moved them out of the way. 
He's moved them as far as you can imagine, beyond your imagination. What can wash away my sins? Wow. And then to express his compassion because it's emotional. It's just not factual. It's just not intellectual. It is emotional. It is compassionate. It is fervent. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him or Amen. reverently respect Amen. and Amen. obey him. Wow. Beyond the farthest star. His love reaches beyond the farthest star. The highest mountain and the lowest valley. And that's taken from the NIV. Jeremiah put it this way. He adds a little bit to it. He says, the Lord has appeared to me of old saying, yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. So not only is it compassionate, not only is it beyond our measure, beyond it is beyond measurable, it's also everlasting. And what's that mean to you? Forever. It's everlasting. Infinity just keeps on going. That means no matter what you do, he still loves you. That's right. We have a hard time loving like that, don't we? Yeah, we do. You treat me wrong. I'm not going to be you. Oh, yeah. You said what? What? <laughs> Everlasting love, compassionate, fervent love, self sacrificing <clears throat> love. Wow, hard to imagine. Then the response, actually it starts that way in the first verse. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Well, you see, this phrase is not meant just to be intellectual. This phrase is built on the emotion, the realization the start to understanding of what God has actually done. So it regurgitates, it rises up from deep within a person's soul. And it's praise the Lord. It might start quiet, praise the Lord. And you think more about it, and you go deeper into the spirit, and it's praise the Lord. And you go deeper still, and it's praise the Lord. And it's praise the Lord. And as you start to really settle in and focus and understand what God has done for you, it may even bring a tear to your eye. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Richard, understand what God's done for you, boy. Thank God. And praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's forgiven you. Woo. He's redeemed you. He's given you a new life. Praise the Lord! Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord! Oh, praise the Lord! Oh, my soul! Oh, my soul! What's that mean? When he goes on and explains it. Oh, my innermost being. Take him. This is just a King James Version. Praise the Lord, oh, my soul. All my innermost being. Praise the Lord. It's not intellectual. This gets emotional. How many of you know redemption can be emotional? Amen. Amen. Yes. If you really know you've been saved, yeah. you should get emotional. Yeah. Amen. If you really know you've been forgiven, there should be a little emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Amen just don't understand why we can get excited about everything else in the world. I saw USC. 
beat Wisconsin yesterday. I got excited. Hey, <laughs> they're in the Big Ten now, and they still won. Wow, that's good. And we can get excited all about that. And yet we've got to be so humble. Well, praise the Lord. I've been redeemed. Praise the Lord. What's more important? What is mightier? What is more miraculous than you being saved? You being redeemed. Praise the Lord. A new life. He's given you new birth. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Amplified Version gives us a little better hint. It says, bless affectionately, gratefully. Praise. Understand what you're doing. Why you're doing it. When you say, praise the Lord, why are you saying that? Because the preacher tells you to or because somebody else is doing it? Because it seems like I'm in church, so it's a thing to do. I want to bring you out of your head this morning and somehow bring you into your heart, into your emotions, and have you realize at a different level what God has done for you. Affectionately. What's that mean? Oh, I love you, dear. <laughs> no, I love that woman. Amen. And I don't care who it is. I love that woman. Yeah. I love that God. Amen. I love him. Why? Because of what he's done for me. Yes, amen. What he's done for me. What he's done for me. I haven't always been a preacher. I've had a life. Yet he's loved me. And with his love, he has drawn me out. I love the old song, he reached out his hand for me. Yeah. Can you think of God reaching down to heaven for you and pulling you out of whatever mess you were in? How many of you have ever been in a mess? Oh, yeah. Have I been the only one? Oh, yeah. My brother knows what I meant. He's a mess. <laughs> we're all a mess within ourselves, aren't we? Yes, we are. But God, through his love and his mercy and his grace, reached down to And what are you women laughing about? Some of you are just bad. <laughs> Some of you helped us guys get into a mess. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're giggling at what you figure it does. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. But God so loved us that he reached out his hand for me. If I was the only one on earth, he reached out for me. God reached out for me. God reached out to touch me. God reached out to put his hand on me. Yes, amen. God's reached down from heaven to put his hand on you. Amen. He's reached out his hand to touch you. Yes, amen. They say, oh, oh, he touched me. He touched yes. me. Oh, oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy. Oh, that floods my soul. Something happened. And now, I know, he touched me. He made me whole. He made me whole. He made me whole. How can I help but affectionately, gratefully? Oh, God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, my soul. Let every fiber, let every nerve, let every corpuscle within my being praise the Lord. Amen. 
exalt the Lord for what he's done for me. Oh, he's loved me without limit. His love is beyond boundaries. I broke all the rules. And yet he reached down his hand for me. Wow. Wow. Yeah, give God a hand. That's all right. yeah. Over and over and over again. The second verse out of the Amplified says, Bless affectionately and gratefully praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not one of his benefits. Wow. You would think salvation and redemption would be enough. But no, he has a list of benefits in your relationship with God. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Well, if I was to ask you to list his benefits, what would you say? Go ahead, come on. Redemption. 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 Yeah. Maybe you want to add to this list. I got his love, his peace, his joy, his forgiveness, his redemption, his mercy, his grace. Help in time of need. He gives wisdom. You know, God will give you wisdom if you ask for it. That's what it says. He says also, you are blessed. How many of you have been blessed? Amen. If you've been redeemed, you're blessed. Amen. who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. <laughs> You're under the influence and under the protection of who? Amen. The Almighty God! <laughs> These are just a few of the benefits you have if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. trust. How about his faithfulness? Oh, yeah. Amen. His faithfulness is my shield and my butler. Amen. The butler is a defensive weapon. Yes. Wow. Yeah, out of the Old Testament. That repels all the darts of the enemy. Well, how about this one? How about his patience? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says he's long-suffering towards us. Definition of that is patient with us. Amen. Wow. He listens to us. Yeah. Well, you can never fill it up. Anybody got something you want to add? Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. He died for us. He died, died for us. He died on the cross and forgave us for our sins. Amen. 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 Tell him. Tell him. Yes, yeah. Tell him. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. But he just goes on. Verse 3 says, And he forgives all <laughs> your sins and heals your diseases. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with loving compassion. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's amazing. The word crown caught my attention. So I did a little research on this meaning of this particular usage of this word out of the Hebrew. And what it is, it's a crown custom by God. Woven together. Woven together with love, kindness, and tender mercies. 
The Greek calls it a weaving together. And then he places it on you. And dignifies, dignifies you and honors you as his child by placing it on your head. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Crown. Wow. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with loving compassion. Crowns you. Marks you with his crown. Woven together by the Holy Spirit of love and kindness and tender mercies. And then he sets you apart with a crown because you glow. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah. You shine because of his love, his kindness, and his certain mercies towards you. Now you are honored. <clears throat> wow. And set aside. He weaves a crown of love, kindness, and tender mercies and marks you with dignity and honor by placing the crown on your head. Amen. Who satisfies, verse 5, your desires. Does he satisfy your desires? Yes. When you really stop and comprehend him, wow. He satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. O oh, my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Yes. Amen. I said bless Amen. his holy name. Give him praise, the old stem says. Give him praise, all ye people. Give him praise, all ye people. For his blood can wash away each stain. Amen. And in your case, his blood has washed away yeah. each stain. So we give him praise. Everybody say, Lord. Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. Wow. Give him praise, all ye people. Hallelujah. God proves his love for us over and over and over again. It's just not a one-time thing. One thing we didn't have on the list is perpetual. Way back there in Jeremiah, he said it's everlasting. It doesn't dilute, it doesn't fade. It just keeps coming. For God so loved the world. Wow. And if you don't know Jesus, this love that I'm talking about is experienced between the believer and Jesus. But you can have it too. Because God loves you also. That's right. Just as much as he loves me. That's right. Amen. He loves you too. Wow. But God's proven his love for us over and over again. And then he tells us, if you really love me, then keep my commandments. Yes, amen. Then it becomes our turn to love him back. John 13, 34 says, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, as I have loved you. <laughs> now listen. Listen to what, think about what we've just said in describing his love. And now Jesus says, he turns the page. And he says, as I have loved you, love one another. Wow. Amen. We don't think of human love like that. No. Because it's not human. <laughs> We're kind of selfish. I'll love you if you love me. I'll love you to the degree that you love me. But to love you unquestionably, to love you without boundaries, to love you without exception, to love you everlasting, to love you 100% all the time, no matter how stinking you are. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, That's what he means. Amen. 
love one another as I have loved you. Amen. Not with condition, not with restriction, but boundless. Yes, amen. Wow. I didn't say agree. Because <laughs> God didn't agree with you a lot of times, probably. Yeah. Reminds me of the old commercial. Please, Mother, or Ford has a better idea for that. Oh, God, yeah. Or please, Mother, I want to do it my way. Yeah. We think we have a better idea. Uh-huh. But it doesn't change his love. Amen. doesn't change his love. He still cares. And he still reaches out to touch us. Hallelujah. I love that old special. Oh, 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 somebody touched me. Amen. <laughs> Nobody's ever heard it before? No. Oh, 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 somebody touched me. It must have been the hand of the Lord. Come on now. Sing oh. <laughs> it. <Wow>. Stop. <laughs> somebody touched me. Somebody touched me. Jesus passing through the crowd makes an amazing statement. He turned and he said, who touched me? Well, a lot of people have been touching him. A lot of people rubbing up against him. But a lady who needed a healing in her faith touched him. And instantly he felt the difference. And whatever room you may be in this morning, when God touches you, it's different. God can touch you. And he can bless you right where you are right now. All you have to say is, Lord, touch me. Amen. He is in this place heavy and thick this morning. And for those of you online, he can touch you right there at home. God loves you. And he wants to touch you. And it will change your life. Love one another. The world is watching by this. They will know that you are my disciples if you have love one for the other. John, 1 John 4 says this, Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God for God is love. This is love. This is the love of God was manifested toward us that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. You live through Jesus. Amen. If you want to love like Jesus, you've got to live through Jesus. Amen. Wow. In this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation, atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, so also ought we to what? Love one another. Without boundaries. That's right. Amen. Without limits. Yes. Amen. Real love. From deep within. Yes, amen. Compassionate love. It's all about love and unity. From whom Ephesians 4, 16. From whom the whole body joined and knit together by whatever joint supplies. Amen. Yes. No matter where you are in the body of Christ. No matter what gifts God has given you, you are expected to do your part in providing for the rest of the body. From whom the whole body joint and knit together by every joint supplies according to the effectual working by which every part does its share. Well, I just want to go to church. Well, you need to get saved. 
Hallelujah. Amen on that. Amen. It's not a social club. This is a place where we come to learn about Jesus. That's right. Amen. And we come to learn how to share Jesus. Yes. Oh. For every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in Amen. In what? Love. In love. There it is again. Love, love, love. The love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong. It shall forevermore the saints and angels song. Give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I said, give God the glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Jesus. But not just with your words. But with your actions. But with your actions. Amen. Right. Amen. With your actions. Love. Faith. In action. So give God the glory, not just with your words, but with your action. He loves you beyond and without limit. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. Father, again, we love you this morning. Yes, Jesus. We praise you from deep within. As we consider all that you've done for us, your faithfulness, your protection, your guidance, your love, Lord, deep within, we just want to let you know how much we love you. We worship you, almighty God. There is none like you. Amen. I worship you, almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise, for you are my Father, again, we rejoice in your presence. Bless each and every one that's here. We bow before you and we thank you for your great, great love. We reach to understand, but we're not capable completely. But through the power of your Holy Spirit, we can get a glimpse. We can feel your presence. We can even feel your touch, Lord. Why you, who created heaven and earth, would reach down from heaven and touch me? It just blows my mind. I ask you to touch each and every one that's here this morning. Perhaps there's somebody here that doesn't have a relationship with Christ. You're not sure of your relationship. You're not sure you're right with God. Just say, Pastor, Pastor, I need prayer. I want to know I'm right with God. Just raise your hand. We'd be glad to pray with you. I see those hands. Just pray with us. Everybody pray. We'll pray with our friends. Jesus, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You are the Christ. You are the Christ. You went to the cross. You went to the cross. For my redemption. For my redemption. You rose again. For my justification. my justification. I invite you. I invite you. To come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be Lord and Master. Be Lord. Forgive me of all my sins. Give me all my sins. And I will serve you the rest of my life. The rest of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give God a hand. Stand with me if you would. 
Everybody say, praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. O my soul. O my soul. And all. And all that is within me. That is within me. Praise. Praise. His holy name. His holy name. See you in the back. God bless you.